Hey, thank you for a great question. The answer is yes and no. The answer is yes because Bereshit all by itself lacks the definite article. There should be a long A vowel under the very first letter. It's not there in the Masoretic vocalization. It's not there in the Septuagint translations Greek from over a thousand years earlier. So all by itself, Bereshit uh, would mean in a beginning. Now the answer is no because Bereshit is not all by itself. Bereshit always occurs in the construct. And in a construct phrase, the first element cannot take a definite article. It must adopt the definiteness of whatever follows. And in this case, we have this clause which describes a specific event, which is definite. And so it adopts that definiteness. If it were in an absolute state, we would expect to see Barishona but we don't. Now some folks argue that you can't have this clause as the second element of a construct phrase, but Robert Homestead has shown that it could be an unmarked relative clause, and I would argue we could also just revocalize the verb without changing any consonants into an infinitive construct, exactly as we see the same verb in Genesis 5.1. And so what we have there is in the beginning of God creating the heavens and the earth. It's a temporal clause. More idiomatically in English, it would read when God began to create the heavens and the earth. And then verse 2 or verses 2 and 3 would then describe the state of affairs that obtained when God began to create the heavens and the earth.